M0FXP TRD Radio H8 third generation. Take a look at this. The main difference is they have they have added airband. So I wonder if they've got the later menu structure that you got with the TRD Radio H3 Plus. Now I've gone for the clear case because I've already got a black one of these, which I really like, by the way. Um, but I thought I'm going to go with the, go with the clear case here on this one. So yes, it has Bluetooth, so you can program it with OD Master, which we're just seeing there, and we're going to do that. Still uses, let's have a look here, twin pin cable, I can't see any interface there. There is USB-C charging, which is just here, plug that in, look at that, ooh, nice. And it goes green when it's fully charged. Battery-wise, it clips down. Uh, let's have a look. Pretty sure that's 2,500 milliamp hours. So a nice chunky battery model is there. So it has come with a belt clip, USB-C charger, and it actually has a base charger as well. Antenna, how many antennas? One antenna, no programming cable, but it's just a Bofeng one and then a USB-C charger. Let's get everything on the table, then we'll turn the radio on. Instruction manual looks completely fine. I mean, they're very good on their backup. TID radio. You'll find if you message them, they always reply. And yeah, quite a lot of uh, photographs there with the OD Master app. An OD Master app actually works on your PC as well, as well via Bluetooth. I'll put the belt clip on like that. I think it would be easier with the battery off actually. So then you get that angle there. Look, see, there you can... it's easier to get that screw in place. And the belt, no, sorry, the wrist strap just goes a little hole there. Just tuck that into there. Okay, both on and then plunk the battery back on. And then click that flat. And let's just turn it on for the first time. I mean, it is a beauty, you know, they are beautiful radios, the TRDs, even the H3. Small, but very beautiful. Look at that. That looks fantastic. The whole thing lights up. Just a budget antenna, and there is a nice, it's a really nice design. Look at that torch, it looks really sleek like that. SOS button, volume on off here. Let's do the, quickly do the backlight. So, menu. menu. And then, of course, it does talk to you. Then up and down with these ones here. So, one is squelch, two is power. And we're looking for backlight, menu, continuous. Oh, that looks so good. The first thing I'm going to do is connect my air band. So I've got an adapter here. It's going to screw into there. Just here. Then are we in VFO mode? So dedicated channel, mode. channel is memory. Frequency, mode. Frequency is is a VFO. So 133850. Three, oh, why did that not go in? Bet we have to enable it in settings. So we're going to go menu and look for air band. Found it, and there it is there, menu 48. Then you just go menu, turn it on, and then exit. Oh, select it first. <laughs> turn it on, menu, and then exit. Now we'll go one, three, three, eight, five, zero. Turn it up, and let's wait for a, bro oh, that was quick. That green LED coming through like that looks really high. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Push back, start approved. Onto the taxiway facing east. Beautiful, sounding perfect. And then we'll uh, let's try. So, Tenerife, I want to go there. So we will test the power. Let's go one, four, five, six hundred. Not in AM anymore. And then, so a quick key. We're in. Should say on here what power. And it says medium there. Let's go menu. Menu. And just go to O1, which is squelch. Uh, power, there it is there. Menu, high. Confirm. Now, TRD Radio have been very good on their harmonics, so I will give it a test. 
uh, but generally they've been very good you know with the recent models so there you are one to one swr nine watts plenty so that's good quite happy with that and we'll just go menu, menu. low Confirm. key again m0 fxp test it's on a dummy load anyway that was two and then menu, menu. Um, I think most people just want to see the high six watts on medium power so yeah no problem with the power there so that's basically as far as I'm concerned that's 10 quick one here just key up um, I left it on medium power the fundamental is number one which goes up to let's have a look now No, and then these are 70 minus 70 so i would say that's a pass you want it about 40 don't you 40 db below the the first fundamental and the second harmonic third so i think that seems okay to me so we will see if it tx is on cb now to open it up you have to turn it off press and hold the ptt and the star and turn on and it does work I, someone messaged me saying it doesn't work but it definitely does and then look you've got the normal is pretty much the open one so you go three and you can see that it was um we're gonna go yes yeah you can see that it it does do gmrs so let's see if that now tx is let me get my dumb or load dummy load on that no it's not txing anyway so uh on the cb stuff maybe there is a way but at the moment it's not so let's try four four six again we're on a dummy load here yeah so it is TXing on four four six uh, but really you shouldn't use these for PMR and four six two oh it didn't do that proper four six two I mean it will because it's a GMR it can be a completely uh, dedicated GMRS radio now with the keys yeah they look backlit but it's hard to see if I think they are backlit because everything else is lighting up as we have the clear case. I've caught the usual twin pin. I've got microphones here that will go in that. And uh, this is a Bluetooth device. So let's just hold down the Bluetooth. Turned it on. It will detect on my app in a minute, uh, which we will look at. Let's just go menu and look at the Bluetooth. That, to me, the, the, the menu structure looks like the older structure. I'm not seeing... And you've got CTCSS um, plus a minor shift, CTCSS, it's all there. And 20, I would say 23, 24, 25 is ones you're going to be using a lot. Yes, it searches CTCSS. It'll be a frequency scanning device. Oh, brightness. Okay. That's good. Didn't know it did that. Good for my video. <laughs> uh, Roger B, Roger Tail searches CTCSS. Memory channel, very easy to add a memory channel. Just looking for any Bluetooth setting. To me, the Bluetooth isn't for audio on this device. You know, so it's it's not like the H3 Plus, this one, which is a completely sort of almost like a re-hardware. This is uh, just an airband version of the TRD Radio H8. Let's see if the app finds it. So it's showing Bluetooth there. Select model. And we're going to go, let's put it where you can just sort of see me tinkering with it. Down, I'll put the link into download, but it's just, you know, just download the APK. Um, and then we're going to go select model, TID radio. Oh, that was a bit quick. So uh, connect to Bluetooth. There it is there, it's found it straight away. Let it connect, and then we're going to go read. And it says, make sure the radio Bluetooth adapter is turned on. Well, I think it is turned on. Oh, yeah. You ha I had to select the third generation. Now let's try it. Ta-da! It's working. What did that say? Please upgrade. Did it I think it did. Let's do that again. Read. Please upgrade firmware version or select correct model. 
So do you remember we we switched it to not ham, we had it to unlock version. Let's have a look. Unlock Teddy Radio third gen GMRS or ham. Hmm. Well, let me just switch it. So I'm going to turn it off. PTT eight, not eight star. Turn on, and I'm going to select the ham one this time. Let it reboot. Welcome. And then we'll do the Bluetooth. Press and hold. That's on. Let's try now. We probably need, might need to connect. Give it a minute to find it. Oh, it's gone off. Look. There you are. Hold down the BL button. You've got a dedicated AB button as well. So let's go back and then do connect again. There it is. Found it this time. I mean, they all work pretty much the same, these kind of apps, don't they? Read. Yeah, it needs new firmware. Let me update the firmware. 